All right, this should be a really quick little tutorial. I just wanted to go over, this is the new UI layout for San Diego that is out there. There is a piece of functionality that not a lot of people know, but a lot of people do know. It is very beneficial and it is still functional in the new UI minus a couple different little pieces of it. That's navigating via the URL. So knowing what you can actually put up here in the URL is key to successfully being able to function in a ServiceNow platform, in, in my opinion, just because I, I use it all the time. You can get so much information from the URL as well as do a couple little different pieces of functionality that actually help out in the long run. So just to give an idea, the structure of the URL in the new UI is a little bit different. You'll see how it's not actually using the nav2.do URI. That is actually, it looks like this here. I'll just paste it up here so you can see it. So nav2.do URI, what that is really doing is saying, take anything after that and put it into the main navigator. So it's not opening up into a new window, et cetera. In the new UI, that doesn't really exist, but everything else actually does still work and exists and it helps out. So just for example, we're gonna go out to a computer table just so you can see some base content. You'll see here, this is showing you know one to 50. That's the amount that you actually have set on your view where you are actually in the pagination of this table as well as the different columns and, and so on. So up here, you'll see in the URL, it is telling you directly what table you are actually on, so seem to be CI computer. And it actually is indicating that this is a list as well. So if you clicked into one of these seem to be records, you will actually see that this changes to seem to be CI computer. So underscore list is a good factor just to be able to see you know, that you're in a list. So if you ever get something back that is in the URL, you can easily see where you're at. Also up here, you'll see sysparm. This gives you a couple different pieces of information. This is saying it's coming from the user preference module of this society that's in the left-hand navigation here. What you can do if you wanted to is actually specify additional filters. So like, let's say we just filtered out on any IBM right here. You will see that up here, the sysparm query actually gets added. So that structure is actually, this is a HTML encoded, but it is just like this equals, and that's how it actually lays out if you do a show matching and so on. So what we could do also is, you know, add additional content in here. If you're going to do that, you can come out here and say, give me the things that are Lenovo, things that are any IBM, and you'll see that this builds out just like this. So manufacturer equals that sys ID and the name equals any IBM. That's all HTML code, a little hard to read, but you can copy the query there itself. If we just paste that right after the sysparm query, you'll see that it's manufacturer equals this sys ID, which is Lenovo, and the name equals that. So if we hit that, it should return the same results. So, and so on. Now let's say we were back here on Lenovo. You see we have 66 results. Let's say that we didn't have the ability to go down here and show 100. Let's say there was actually, you know, 400 or something around those lines. A little trick that a lot of people don't use is there's actually another sysparm called force row count. And in here, what we can do, let's go back here, sysparm force row count. Let's say we want to do the whole thing equals 66, All right? So that's going to show the full set of what you want. Use this with caution. Don't pull up like 10 million records. You're going to it's just going to take a very long time, probably crash your browser in general. That's a nice little quick trick to be able to see even more records. The nice benefit of that is, you know, you can come out here and you can select a whole bunch of different columns if you'd like, and you could change them. That field is not editable. But from here, like, let's say you wanted to change a whole bunch on key without having to, you know, run a script or anything around those lines, or you don't have admin and you want to go over here, you can't do update all. You could potentially just drop that in, get your list of, you know, 100, 200, 500, and you could click into here and actually flow the whole thing and change it. You can also do some additional filtering and additional parameters. Uh, I won't go through all of them right now. That's just one that was very beneficial to me. But just as an example here, out on the docs site, you will be able to see quite a few different examples of what you can go to and different examples of how they operate and so on. So hopefully that was helpful. Little tip trick just to get around. The URL is very beneficial. Know it, love it, use it, understand it.